because I tore my ACL that year, but I got to sit with the girls and just be a part of all of that experience. And it was awesome. And then my actual experience was when we got to play uh, Minnesota. And yeah, that I sometimes uh, throughout the year now, I feel like it's kind of like postseason fan um, stadiums and stuff like that because we have so many people come out to our games now. And so I think they kind of helped prepare us for postseason a little bit. When you, when you step out for postseason, though, is it like a different feeling? Like, does it just feel like the crowd knows that it's postseason and you guys can feel the difference? I mean, we usually have a – well, my previous years, we'd usually have a bigger crowd. But this year, like Coach says, Hillenbrand has been back to how he remembers it. So we've had great fan support all year. But um, for sure, for me, it's just – it's game to game, so it's definitely a more magical feeling. Um, every game you know is going to be special somehow. Uh, so for sure, it feels different in some way for me, the excitement-wise. It's just, I don't know how to explain it. It's just one of those feels. Has Mike talked to you about the, the difference between what just happened, the regular season, to this? Are you guys stepping up more or maybe not? Maybe he hasn't talked about it. You want that one? Yeah. Um, <laughs> after our bye week, we did have a talk uh, before we started this week's pr this week's practice. Um, he he basically came in and said, "I don't see why we need to ramp anything up. I don't see why we need to change anything. Um, the success this year is so high. So why change anything? Why even look to speed up anything? Um, I think with us, that would just bring a little bit more nerves. And I think this year we've learned how to you know keep everything on a really uh, steady level. Last year, you guys, had, I mean, the last two years, you had to go to SEC country to tough crowds where everybody's cheering against you. Is it a good feeling they don't even have to worry about that this year? Unless you get to OKC, of course. Yes, for sure. <laughs> I remember my freshman year, um, we hosted regionals, and then we went to ULLL, ULL. And then the next year, we went to LSU. And then last year, we went mm -hmm. to Auburn. So I've definitely my class and her class have experienced a lot of SEC postseason, and it's a learning experience. I mean, part of it pumps you up because everybody is against you, but for sure it's 10 times better being at home with everybody for you, or most of the crowd for you. So it's exciting. Are those SEC crowds much different than yours? I think so. They're kind of <laughs> <laughs> intense. Um, well, our crowd knows our name, and they know who we are. I don't think our crowd takes the time to learn our opponents' names, but I remember playing at LSU and um, we were getting our names called. So the um, the announcer was calling us out for positions and uh, hitting lineups and stuff like that. And every time they called somebody out, they would yell "Tiger Bait" after the name. <laughs> and then when I'd be on deck, they'd be like, "Don't be scared, don't blink, Mandy, Mandy." And I'm like, "How do you even know my name? <laughs> Where's my mom?" <laughs> But yeah, it gets pretty intense. So, I think they're more about us cheering us on. Then. Yeah, they want us to win. Yeah. They're nicer. <laughs> I don't think they don't need to hackle or cheer against the other team. They know that if we could do it with our gloves and our sticks, so they don't got to do anything. You have the personality of this crowd. Coach said it. The crowd thinks they're kind of like a part of the family. It's kind of how they how you guys feel. Oh, yeah, for sure. Just walking around um, before the game starts, there's people, like, saying, hey, good luck. You know, it's not – I don't know how to explain it. It's just nice. Even after the game, just walking through, you see your family, you see your friends, and there's fans hanging out that come to every game that you are on a friend basis with. It's not just strange faces in the crowd. Like, I would say we know a large amount of people in the crowd come to practice, hang out. So it's refreshing for sure. Um, that is a little bit true. Well, now it's summer. Yeah. So that's a factor. It's kind of hard during our season because um, the meat of the Pac-12 games, we have midterms and finals, and people were getting ready to graduate and stuff like that. There were a lot of times, though, where uh, a lot of student athletes that are our friends come out and support us, but it's kind of hard when you're a spring sport because everyone's kind of focused on that summer vibe. <laughs> they want to get out of here. But... I, I think we get a older crowd because, I mean, look who we're coached by. He's a legend, so they want to stick around and see all of his success, and they want to see it keep going because they were here from the beginning. I know a lot of donors, um, when we had our uh, on deck or, like, 
the first we had a donor dinner, and we all came, they all came out. And we met everybody up in uh, the Little S- Stevens Center, and there's a lot of like men and women that you know have been a part of the program for so long. They don't, they can't seem to just step away from it. So they they have a tie to it just as much as we do. So. What do you take from the series against New Mexico State? Like, from a month ago, how do you? I think we just have to take into consideration that, I mean, they've seen us, we've seen them, um, so it's obviously not going to be too many secrets out there. We just have to come out and execute our plan and um, take what we learned, kind of use that and learn from what we did that we didn't like too much and then move forward, but nothing too complicated, not changing too much. Anything else for the student-athletes? Andy Moe, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye, Kenzie. Bye. Bye, Ma.